Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leervok, and you are just in time for more Darksiders. In the last episode, we defeated the Stygian and got and uh, got our next ability which would allow us to actually walk on walk through special gateways with on ruin. You know it really isn't an ability. And that's the second time we got greeted by Volcom. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, one thing I should mention about Ruin, um, which I mentioned before, but kind of want to reemphasize this a little bit. You can't use Ruin everywhere. You can see in the corner where his icon pops up. Um, there we go. Now we can actually use it. Now he's actually lit up like, a, like the other icons. Um... That does unfortunately limit where we can use them, but at the same time, it's not a huge. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh. I swear for a moment I saw the Horde Bannister from World of Warcraft. On the. Like, that was. I, I did not see that banister, I saw the Horde symbol in, in place of what the symbol was there. Um. I think, do we? Oh, wait, I think we do need to go. Oh. We do need to follow this path. Um. I think we do. Let me check the map again. Yeah. I will say this, I do find it weird that we can't jump with Ruin. But right here, we see the gates that we were. the transport gates that, uh. uh, Samael was talking about. Now we can actually use them now. Simply just walk up into them. It's... Charge ruin through the pillars to activate them. So we just charge them. And we just kind of walk through. It is, it is a really cool effect. It is a pretty cool, pretty awesome effect. It is all automated though. So... I just want to, I just want to reiterate, I'm not pressing a single button there. Except for moving the camera. And yes, you are very limited to where you can move the kit. And I didn't even charge. Charge when you just just walk him in. So yeah. Kind of unfortunate that's a automatic thing, but at the same time it's kinda of cool. It's a cool uh, it's a cool visual effect and you can kinda of consider it more of a loading screen. <laughs> Excuse me. Two, two minutes in, and, and I'm already yawning. Actually, closer to three minutes, so, yeah. <laughs> there you go, we've been recording for a long time. <laughs> oh, man, if that's long... If, if three minutes is considered a long time for you, for anyone watching this, then you must, you must consider my normal videos, like, an eternity. Uh, try multiplying three by ten. You should, I usually, unfortunately, do twenty-minute videos. 20 to 30 minute videos. I try to keep them under that, but sometimes, especially especially with newer games, with seeing as they're like more story based than say like something like Mario World, for example, it's a little harder to kind of. And oh goody, we got spiders. Well, we are dealing with. Uh, actually, did they say yeah, they did say this is like the Spider Queen, didn't they? And here we are in the iron canopy, and press tap B to get out. Yeah. It is really weird that that's a thing. Um, so here we are in the actual dungeon. Um, the iron canopy. Which I'm assuming below, below us is, is what was once the Ashlands. Um, yeah. Or was was once some of the Ashlands, maybe still is. I don't know. But yeah, so this is one of the more confusing to navigate dungeons, um, primarily because it's on top of itself. Let's see, do we have a? You can see right there, we got three floors, and um. Come on! 
There we go. Uh, those guys usually don't take that long to kill. I guess the... There's our doors, a bunch of spider webs. And... I can do anything against tall, dark, and gruesome yet. Best to avoid it for now. Yeah. Um, that actually brings us to one of our major themes for this dungeon. Um, real quick, let's leave the dungeon, let's even go back in here. You can see it's actually been marked on our map. Um, right there you can see the dungeon, the main door right there. And you can see these four, uh, spheres, these four circles around it. Those circles represent the bo the spiders that we'll be fighting. There are four of them. They're hidden around here. That's one of them. And we can't do anything about it quite yet. We will be able to eventually. I just got to remember what it is exactly we need to do to kill them. Um, and that, of course, doesn't work. So instead, as you may have guessed, you saw a time stone. Or chronosphere, a chrono stone. We got to. Oops, can't do it. Gotta do it this way. And run, run, running, 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 running. Face! Haha! <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, hold on. Crap. Uh, hold on one second. Um, okay. Let's had to get something that dropped from that cough. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see where... We can't fight the spider. We do have some more of these angels. Uh, corrupted angels. And that's ooh, oh, I think that one's new. That is that one new? I don't think that one's new. Um, it's been a while since our since we've had an upgrade with our weapons. <laughs> well, a long while, actually, it feels like. Um, it's also been a long while since we've had uh, enchantments. Um, so let's see, what do we? Um. I don't think there's anything over here. Actually, let's see what's over here. As you may have been able to guess by now, we've got kind of a... sort of a big map. Um, got a lot of area to, co to cover and a lot of gaps in that, of course. Um, might be... Oh, I think I know that's from... That's, that's like a quick way down, I think. Let me... Oh, no, 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 I know what that's for. I, never mind, I know, I know exactly what that's for. That's for something we'll be getting in this dungeon, actually. You may have noticed. You may have noticed that we keep seeing these things here. Um, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty surefire guess what we're, well, that sucks. What we'll be getting in the dungeon. And also, for, uh, as an added bonus to figuring out what those are. If you have no clue what they are yet, let's just put it this way. Everyone's favorite item in any Zelda game ever. It may not be your favorite item, but it's everyone else's. Why? I have no clue why. It's, it's just awesome, that's why. <laughs> um, if you don't know what item I'm talking about, it's the... oh, you probably, probably shouldn't say because it was kind of trying to avoid spoilers, but I guess it's kind of... Well, it's pretty obvious what this... what the item is anyway at this point. Ooh, that's painful. Let's see here. And... There we go. Trying to use primarily the sight so I can level it up a little bit more. 
At least get closer to the uh, to the Chaos Eater's leveling. Gotta. Yeah, we're a long ways away. I'm not even sure if it's worth keeping track of that. Um. Might be back here, so I'm not gonna save that. I think you can kill those enemies pretty easily just by stomping on them. Press B. Um. Or. Um. No? You can get their attention. Then if you're lucky enough, you can get them into an area where they can't actually... You can get to an area where they can't actually hit you. Or... If you feel so inclined to... If you feel so inclined to, you can also uh, commit Sebaku, but I think that's probably not favorable. Uh, right there you saw a spider's nest, where we got a bunch of these little creeps spawning from. Um, basically, they're kind of, they act like just a lot of the other small enemies. It's kind of a very easy experience. Um, you know, they probably guess that's part of the uh, puzzle. There we go. Um, so now that we got that bar down, see if this is going to be enough to. Okay, and. Uh, okay. Got one more? Um, nope. Got a few more. So now that we got that down, um, ah, oh, crap, that's okay. So we're not quite. Not quite done yet. Um, this is probably the most tedious part of the dungeon, just swamping the little spiders. Again, they're cheap. E they're a cheap and easy experience in health, but it's just—it's one of those. It just becomes tedious things. Um, There we go, okay, so we got that part set up. So you can probably guess the, the time stone's gonna involve something here. Um. Gotta remember what to do here. It's been. a little while since I played this. Like I said, this is my least favorite area, so I tend to, uh. tend to forget a lot. Um, more like. Like black out, like black out of my mind. The more, the more, uh, they're all the me more uh, memorable parts. However, if I do believe I remember if we stand here, you notice that it, it does obey some laws of gravity. Um, and by manipulating time and space, we can actually get up here and get, I believe this is a key. Is it? Yes, we got the beholder's key. So now we can actually do this. We get whatever this is, the map. So we got the full map. Um and no, we'll just kinda go by the old fashioned way. <laughs> Excuse me. Hopefully, my first time going through this, it took a while. Hopefully this time it won't take so long. It's, it's easy to get lost in this area. 
Um, just because, again, it's like... If you take a look at the map... Kind of a kind of a bit of a maze. Like everything kind of circles around back into itself. So the big, though well, the big problem is trying to figure out where to go next and how to get there and like whether or not you're going the right way or if you need to backtrack a lot. And I guess yeah, there's a lot of backtracking here. Okay, so we destroy the beholder gate and enter this door, which we'll find looks like another spider. Huh. Only, oh, we're under, we're above the spider. Hmm. Well, if we move this over here, I believe. Um. I believe before. Okay. And we hit this. There we go. It drops him down, now he's upside down, can't move up. We can't flip right away, so if we drop down here, and we drop down here, we can actually... Dang it! Ah, crap. Oh, well, you kinda get the idea. Um, and now we gotta find a way back up. This all be fun. Oh! I mean, over here. Where's the, where's the water trap? Oh, don't make me call you again. Oh, right there, okay. So. Oh. Nope, nothing we can do up there. Um. I feel like I'm playing this blind. So there he is. So how do we get up there? I'm trying to. I'm honestly trying to remember. Um. Do we need to go? No, going this way isn't going to help. Though we probably do want to get rid of these spiders just in case they come more recent. Uh, not touching that one. Um. Horseman. Actually, this is a better way th out than I thought. Oops, wrong thing. Don't make me call you again. And there we go. Well, we need to feed the spider first before it can actually... Um... Uh, actually, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be fighting him yet. Um... I could be... I could be wrong, though I think you could technically be defeat that spider now. Um, but I think what we need to do is we need to actually come down and go on this uh, rail here. Oh, I know what we need to do. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay. So we need to hit this. Drop him. And then drop down here, scooch over here, jump over here, and then fly over here. That's what we need to do. And I believe coming up soon here should be not the item we're looking for. Oh, but we have a new demon to fight. Ah, uh, great. Uh, 
I call this guy the Atomic Skull. <laughs> um, but yeah, I believe if I remember correctly, the Atomic Skull is the name of a DC villain. Mm, it actually kind of looks like this guy, these guys in all honesty. Like, just like red, just like traditional red flame instead of green. Um, I think that might just be for the skull though. I don't know, comic books have like 15 different designs for their heroes and villains alone. They got, they've gone through at least 9 redesigns in the past year, are certain, I'm certain. Somewhere along the line, there's a fan, there's a fan redoing of the top of the Atomic Skull that looks just like this. <laughs> Including the big knife there. Uh, which looks pretty cool, by the way. I think that's a pretty cool sword. Okay, so I think... Okay, that's it. That's it for them. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here for now. Um, real quick, I'm going to kind of... Okay. Just real quick, I'm going to stomp these guys. So, in the next episode, we'll be heading to the door we just opened. And I believe that will take us to the dungeon item. Because we can't really get much further without that. So, until then, I will see you guys later.